Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Trakulic and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how you could uh, project a text or an ornament or uh, things like, like that onto a, a curved uh, surface like the one of the base here uh, the right way. So let's go ahead and get started. Here it is our uh, simple scene and here it is my text and the base onto which I want to project my uh, text here. Uh, which actually is my name so um, uh, if I tap into the mode I, you can see that this is a text object and you can go ahead and edit it and now I want to project this onto this uh, onto the surface of this base here all right so what I can do first of all it's a good habit to first du duplicate uh, this uh, text here and move it to another layer so you have always a copy of your uh, original uh, text here and now let's go ahead and uh, alt c convert this text into a mess all right now let's tap into the mode you can see this is a pretty ugly mess since it has a lot of nasty triangles here all right so uh, but we're going to fix this uh, in just a while so having selected all the faces extrude them a little bit along the local z-axis something like this okay uh, and of course press Control n to recalculate the normals outside it's always a good thing to do now I want to go ahead and apply from the modifiers up here and apply to this text object a modifier and it's going to be a remesh modifier all right you can see it uh, has changed a lot I mean and we have uh, to do a couple of things here for a couple of adjustments first of all I want to uh, uncheck this uh, re reserve disconnected pieces first of all so and I want to bump up a little bit the uh, octree uh, depth somewhere like so okay somewhere here so when I'm happy of course I want the type to be sharp from the type from available uh, types all right and when I'm happy with the uh, this uh, result here I want to apply go ahead and apply the um, the remesh modifier so now if I tab it in the mode you can see we have a pretty much good mesh here all right good topology here for this uh, text all right so uh, what I want to do is to project now this text onto the surface of the base first of all let's go ahead and scale it down quite a bit so somewhat somewhere like so here all right okay I think it's it could be nice somewhere here all right maybe a little bit more okay and all right bring this somewhere here control a to apply the scale okay and now select the base tab it mode well as you can see now it has a mirror modifier which i'm going to be applying so uh, apply the mirror modifier here for the base and so if you now tab it mode you can see that we have this kind of geometry so uh, what I want to do is to select uh, two vertices somewhere here, this one plus this one perhaps on both sides of the base and I want to press W and select vertex path. This is going to uh, select uh, the uh, in between vertices. So I want to simply duplicate those vertices and press P and separate the selection. Now tap out uh, edit the edit mode for, for the base and select this new object line here which is going to be the curve uh, onto which this uh, text is going to be projected so having selected the text I want to go up here and, and add modifier and add modifier curve modifier all right and as an object I'm selecting the sphere 002 well now you can see this strange behavior here we're going to fix this in just a while first of all press alt G to uh, reset the position and the rotation for the uh, text object all right now move the object along its local y-axis all right and now let's go ahead and select all the letters and let's uh, click on this icon here so we can see this uh, on the in the edit mode as well and I want to rotate them along the x-axis by uh, 90 
and also perhaps move them tab out edit mode and move our object a little bit along the y-axis so kind of trying to uh, you know to find the best position for this and perhaps scale this down a little bit it's okay and move it along the x-axis until we can have something like this something like so here okay so let's take a look from inside the camera and uh, yeah well this is pretty much it and as you can see now we have uh, effectively uh, projected our uh, our text object onto uh, the surface of this vase now in that case there where our object was pretty much um, was uh, more you know elongated or tall perhaps and so you would like to have also a uh, you know a curvature to follow this curvature here uh, in this sense in this direction of the vase then you will have to uh, go ahead and uh, have selected your object uh, to apply first the curve uh, so apply the first curve modifier now um, as you can see well we have made this kind of uh, you know uh, projection along uh, along this direction all right but not along this direction of the vase i mean as you can see here we have also a, a vertical curvature depending on the object upon you want to project your uh, text or ornament or things like that so what we can do for this well let me show you yet another method we have for uh, for achieving more realistic results okay first of all let's move this a little bit about here okay now let me show you first a very uh, good way for selecting uh, for, for for making difficult selections like the one i'm going to show you uh, first of all let's go ahead and tab it with mode all right and deselect all the faces control tab switch over to the um to the uh, face select mode and select from each one letter select just one single face all right so let's say this one any one of them on the on the on the front side of those letters all right this one one here this one just one face all right maybe two no problem about that okay all right and we don't need more and what we we're trying now to do is to select just those faces that are in front this i mean on this uh, front side of this uh, of this text of these letters if you prefer now go th down here to the select all right and select linked flat faces or shift control on tab is the shortcut so as you can see now we have selected just those faces that are in the front now i want to press ctrl i and select the rest of them and go ahead and delete those faces so um here we are with just a, a 2d actually uh, letters all right now let's go ahead and having this text now let's go ahead and add a modifier and the modifier is going to be shooting wrap modifier as an object i'm selecting the sphere which is actually my vase behind all right and as you can see now i have a very good projection onto my uh, vase i can also go ahead and select uh, my text and i can move it uh, you know along the, the surface of the vase all right now if i'm happy with the result i can apply this modifier now go ahead select my uh, my uh, newly deformed uh, text uh, object and i'm going to select all the uh, the letters and press e to extrude them all right and perhaps then and give it some you know some depth so now it's a far more better result more realistic result using this second uh, technique all right now if i switch uh, over to my camera view and look through our camera you can see those letters have also uh, have also those uh, this uh, you know curvature along the height of my vase now let's go ahead and save and let's go ahead and, and click F12 to render.
okay so you can see now that we have effectively applied this uh, you know uh, projection this curvature to all the letters and the result is really a a, a good one right so uh, that was for today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from this if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time hopefully soon with uh, hopefully an interesting topic until then have fun and goodbye